Well, hello Pickles, Queen Bee here. Welcome to a new series. We're playing Timberborn Guys, where we play as a happy troop of beavers trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic world where all the humans have died. And uh, I've played a little bit of this, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty hooked. Um, I love it. It's, it's very involved, there's lots to do. And um, the building in this is great as well. So there are two types of beavers that you can play with. Um, folktales are the original beavers. Easy going but hard working. Folktales are expert farmers. They respect nature and it rewards them with plentiful bounties. Or we can play as the iron teeth, defectors of the traditional timber ways who've mastered iron and science to build advanced machinery. Well, we're not playing as these. We haven't even unlocked them. And I do want to kind of start our journey of Timberborn with um, with the traditional, the folk tales. So we're gonna go with that. Their motto, comfort, food, and sturdy wood. Um, we're going to, as you can see, there's lots of different maps and you can actually build your own maps. Um, but for the purpose of this, we are going to go planes. Oh, we're going to click next. We're going to go on normal. Uh, we want a challenge. Our settlement starts with moderate resources. Droughts are milder to begin with, but get worse over time. Sounds good to me. And here we go. What do we want to call our beaver settlement? Well, we're going to be uh, calling it Bees Borough, as always. Um, so let's go OK, and here come our baby beavers, of which we have eight beavers and four baby beavers. Baby beavers cannot work. And this is where we're going to be settling, guys. Now, as you can see, um, there is a river. The river runs through this uh, wonderful world. And wherever the river is, well, pretty much wherever the river is, um, you've got a little bit of fertile land. Ooh, scrap metal over here. I wonder if that's like a deep mine. Um, I have heard that you can do deep mining. Um, more scrap metal there. So everything was kind of brown and funky looking. Arid land, totally unfertile. And uh, we want to be building on the green land. I mean, we can build houses over here. And in time, you can actually fertilise the land. But, um, but for now... This is where we start. And the bit, as I said, the building, and this is great. You can build up as well as out, and uh, you can build bridges and suspension bridges and all that wonderful jazz we can get across the river. And so this is all good. We, we need to start uh, by placing some lumberjack flags. You can't collect anything without these little kind of collector areas, these flags. So I'm gonna start perhaps by putting in a flag there. And I'd like to get this area done as well. So maybe we put it there, like so. And I already know that it's going to tell me that I need to connect this all up with roads. And the nice thing is if you do something and it's part of the tutorial, it doesn't penalise you guys. Uh, it accepts that that's, been, that that's been done. I'm just going to get rid of that tree. It's in my way. And then we'll put in our um then we'll put on our road here and let's just get that tree gone it's gonna irritate me so they do start with a little bit of resources i think just enough to put those lumberjack flags in can somebody get this done please okay, i don't want to hang around here right so one of the things that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to cut trees and in order to cut the trees once we put down our flag we need to assign that area for cutting, like so. And our little beaver will go off and it will cut all of the trees in that area. Excellent. And then let's put that path back down, just like that. And we'll do the same over here. Assign trees to be cut. Boom. Marvellous. So let's continue. We've done all of those things. We've marked trees for cutting. And next we need to build a water pump. Now you can grab your water pump, guys. Um, said I played a little bit of this the first couple of droughts, but you can put it anywhere you want. I quite like this area as being a water pump area. Um, so let's do that. And we'll demolish that. And this area will flood. Uh, 
and let's grab that. Whoops, let's demolish this. Like that. I like that you can put um, you can put paths in, and those paths um, they they just build instantly, which is lovely. Now I also know that I am going to want to start storing water, so let's go like that to start with. And another thing that I don't particularly want to hang around for the tutorial for is to get planting my crops. So I'm going to throw in a farmhouse there. We can start working on that. And we've got four unemployed people, so... We don't want to have to wait on the logs, so let's this in as well. Get another lumberjack going. So our water pump is in and ready and we need to put a gatherer flag in as well now see these little kind of like teal area of effect things that tells you where your people will gather or your beavers will gather more to the point and uh, we're gonna probably pop this there not particularly liking the uh, location of the bath but that's fine for now we could just deal with that God, all, almost all of these trees have been eaten through. I'm just going to fast forward this. They don't do anything other than wander around and sleep at night. So they're not going to be crafting, even if I prioritise something. You can see they're not crafting it. So let me just set this to water. You can do that before it crafts, which is nice. Get it done, out of the way. You don't have to think about it then. There we go. Water's in. At a later date, you can see you can actually craft more water storage. Where's the storage? Here we are. Medium tank, large tank. But we're going to need a lot of stuff for that that we don't currently have. Okay, gather a flag. That's all done. And they're going to start gathering berries, which is great. And our farmers are in. And uh, maybe we... Tell this dude, we sack this dude off. We should now have three farmers. That's great. And uh, we need to tell our farmers what they're going to be planting. So I kind of feel like... Let's... Let's do this. Let's do... Carrots and potatoes. I like potatoes. We'll put potatoes there. That's nice. Gives us a little bit of space here and leaves this area down here. So we've done the farmhouse. We've planted the carrots. We've got to place down a log pile. So for my log pile, I think we're going to put it right over here, like so. Getting some nice berries coming in. Carrots are being planted along with potatoes. Now, they can't eat potatoes raw, but I do like potatoes because one potato makes four baked potatoes. So the carrots take less time to uh, grow, but the potatoes seem to give more bang for, for your buck. So they take six days, they take four days. But um, yeah, I, I do like those potatoes. Let's continue. We need to build some warehouses. It says to build two, but I want to build three. So let's then put the entrance there. One, two, three. Three is not enough long term, but bring path along here like so all the way to the top and we're going to put another wood gathering flag I think like so 
Because we're blasting, you could see, we're blasting through this wood. So I'm going to put carrots in there. Um, we're going to put normal potatoes in there. We're going to put berries in there. And I'm not going to be satisfied with, with just this water pump. So I want to start pumping more water, which means I just am going to need to destroy this, this one bush. And uh, let me start thinking about putting some more water storage in. Like that. Let's get that done. Get it gone. There we go. Now uh, we'll put another water well in there. And let's connect it up with the path. Like so. And set all of these to collect water. Like that. Because we do have a drought coming, people. And we need to be prepared. There we go. That should do. Okay, so next we need to look at building a lodge. I'm going to pull one of my uh, lumberjacks from there now. And I'm going to put them over there. And we're going to look at building housing. Now, if you look, like, look at the storehouses, those yellow uh, planks, that means you can build on top of them. So what we're going to do is, with that in mind, we are going to build... Um, I'm going to do that. We're going to bu build some mirrored lodges um, of those, and we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three two, three, and then we'll probably have a gap here. And we'll do the same, and we'll do the same, and we'll do the same, and then we'll build up. But what we're going to need is we're going to need more paths. So we will eventually be coming out here, won't we? So let's put that path there. And we'll put a path down there. Marvellous! And yeah, we've got two unemployed, so let's put one in there. We didn't need them to get this done. We're already on day seven. But our carrots are growing. That's great. Slow this down a bit. Oh, water pump is in. Excellent. Well, shit. We didn't tell him. Cut trees, did we? No, pickles, we did not. Let's get those cut. And we want these cut, and we want these cut, like that. And maybe we do actually turn that one off, and we'll put a second lumber flag in here. This is loads of trees up there. And our lodges are slowly going in. And our carrots are slowly being picked. And we've got loads of water coming in now. Maybe just for now we'll put them here and then we can move them. Because don't forget my houses are going to be here, here and here. But I can always build backwards to start. I love this! Let's take a screenshot! Let's take another screenshot. Um, okay, so what we've built our inventor. We're going to need to build a water wheel, and that will come down here. The first water wheel will probably come down here. We're going to utilize this area a bit more. Um, so let's then come into power water wheel 
going to be putting that there. And then we're going to need a path so that they can construct it. Let's bring that all the way to here. I don't know which bit they need to get to. I'm also going to need to build a lumber mill. And I mean, that doesn't need to be too far away, does it? It can just be there. And then we're going to need to put power to the mill. Like so. And then they can get that all done and we can get planks crafting up and all that wonderful jazz. So let's focus on the water wheel. And I think we're going to switch them. We're going to say focused on harvesting now. And I'm going to put a grill in as well so we can start cooking potatoes. I want to put one more medium warehouse in for my cooked potatoes. And I think just, just as a precaution, ready for the drought, I'm going to put a gatherer flag up here so that we can maybe make use of those berries there. So let's let that get built. Really close to uh, to the drought now, though, guys. <laughs> I don't want to drought. So how's this looking? We've got a few trees there. How about the trees up here? Still being bitten. Let's put that one on. We'll turn that one off because I feel like it's probably not quite as far for them to travel there. Well-being goals. What have we achieved? Carrots, shelter. It's just like a lean period right now where we've got children, but they can't work. We can't put children to work. So we are utilising everybody that we've got. Four of which are chopping trees. So we've got one over here, one here, one over there. Oh no, three of which are chopping trees. Now I also want to put in a forester, but I haven't got enough science points for that yet, which is a bit of a pain in the arse. But we probably will have tomorrow. Because we've got space for another inventor. I'm going to kick that guy out he can go invent oh no oh no what be happening down here <gasps> rope and teeth we can't be having that okay let's set this to grilled potatoes um yeah we really need some people to grow up let's kick you out of there and then we need to come into well-being and we need to get a tooth grindstone. And I'm just going to pop it in there. These are coming back. These um, we're almost we can't be far away from the drought. We should get that any second. But these these carrots are growing back in and they just need to focus on harvesting what they can. And we're going to need another stockpile for our planks. We'll pop that there. That's gone in. We'll say real potatoes in there. I think that's right, isn't it? Yeah, we've got berries. Potatoes, carrots. No available workers. Where the hell are they all working? Right. Someone needs to start cooking. There we go. We've got 64 potatoes. They can cook those all up. 
Who's stranded and where are you stranded? How are they stranded? Oh, can they not get in there? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna have to destroy this. Can you get in now? Why are you stranded? Okay, let's put more paths in here. And then lob in the gathery gathery bit there, like that. There we go. Uh, we'll put this to plants. Marvellous. Excellent. So, we've got food coming in. Slowly. Raw potatoes. Nice. Berries would be something we've got to focus on now. I mean, it feels like we're kind of limping on the food, I have to say. It's not so easy the first year because it takes you a while to get your farm up and running. Um, hopefully these berries will pop back in. I want them to get all these bloody carrots harvested, though. And uh, potatoes are slowly going in. Of course, our well-being went up because... We gave them potatoes. They're very happy with their potatoes. Put some more water storage in there. Probably not going to do anything for this uh, drought, but food's coming in now. 267. We've got 76 grilled potatoes. We've still got 35 normal potatoes. Carrots, we've got 80. Potatoes, grilled potatoes, yeah, looking good, looking good. Berries being picked and all that very wonderful jazz. Logs coming in. We've got one person that we can now put in the lumber mill. I mean, we can just say, stack these up to be planted for later. Like... That. and that's the end of the tutorial guys so we're complete on the tutorial got our pine farm we've got loads of pine over there loads of pine over there um we've got our carrots going in i'd really rather they don't plant anything yet just get these carrots because we've got 0.2 days and the drought is about to hit and it's all going to look horrible and ugly like that we may as well kick this dude out, pick him to chop trees, spend the drought chopping trees, chopping the trees. And we got 510 food, 285 water, that is going to go down quick. I'm going to put somebody in here so what else can we sack off i don't think he plants anything during the drought so let's pop him in the inventor got one guy chopping wood up there one guy chopping wood up there a water wheel won't work oh so painful how many science points have we got? So I want to unlock, unlock some platforms. That's 100. Haven't got enough for that. I think maybe during during the winter, or <laughs> during the winter, during the drought, I'm going to pop in three more houses here. Maybe just pause this last one. Two workers. Great. 
Let's get them chopping wood. Like so. Halfway through the drought with 217 water and 500 food. Very happy with that. Put a worker in there as well. All the wood! Okay, let them build that last house as well, actually. Grab as much wood as we can through this drought and then pull back on uh, foresting. Foresting? Deforestation? Okay, we've now got 143 um science points so i want to unlock this platform and i want to place a platform all the way across here we are going to need to put a path there as well i'll be able to build the full amount of that i'm going to unlock the stairs as well no i'm not because we don't have the points but yeah we won't be able to build all of that i think we've only got seven planks and we need four planks a piece but as soon as the drought's over, we can kickstart this again and get this built. And then over here, I want a second farm. And another forester. And the drought is over. So let's have a look over here. We can pull these guys by both out because um, there's no real trees for us over here. We'll put somebody in here and somebody in here because it's going to all get nice and green again. There we go. Look at it. And then we'll say their focus can be on planting again. And look at them go. So we survived our first drought. We had plenty of food and uh, yeah, a decent amount of water, but I want to work on that. In the next episode, that's what we'll do. We'll put down a second farm, we'll chop some more trees, we'll put down more water pumps, and we'll continue to expand our, uh, our population. We might start thinking about some nice aesthetic things for them as well. But um, I love this game, guys. It's really good fun. I hope you've enjoyed watching as much as I've enjoyed playing. And if you have done, or if you've played this before and you want to give me some, some tips and stuff, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel guys if you haven't done so already but until next time guys stay safe and take care